Welcome to Villa Solstice. What a villa tour we've got for you today. We've come to Ibiza's west coast, we're just stones throw away from the beautiful beach of Calatarida just there. And here we are in Villa Solstice, occupying this extraordinary front line plot. This is the best sea view of any villa on the island, I can assure you of that. There are front line villas, and then there are front line villas. Chuck in that picture perfect sunset, dropping to the sea right behind me there, 365 days of the year, and you have the best view a beef that has to offer. The villa, designed by Bruno Erpicum, is just over 500 metres in size. He's got six bedrooms plus staff accommodation, a 17 metre heated swimming pool, a jacuzzi built into the lawned area down below next to the fully equipped gym and the holy grail of all Ibiza Villa features as I'll be demonstrating to you personally at the end of this film simple direct private access into the sea. I'm going to take a walk around the house come and follow me. Hello, welcome again to Villa Solstice. This time I brought you around to the front door of the house. Front door that doesn't give too much away in terms of the sheer delights that could be seen on the other side of it. But I would like you to take a minute just to appreciate the sheer height of this thing. A larger front door I don't think you would have found anywhere else. And it gives you a clue as to the running theme of this house, which is huge volume of spaces. Double height ceilings doesn't really do it justice. We are in triple height ceilings territory here. And in this entrance hallway, as I find myself, I've got a brilliant amount of storage on my left-hand side that fully accentuates the space that's been granted to it. A guest loo that is just here. This, I think, is a really neat feature. A secret passageway, if you like, takes you through not only to your service and laundry area, but a little shortcut through to the kitchen, which we'll get to shortly. Behind you just there, we have one of the six guest bedrooms. Beautifully formed, it's the smallest of the six, we're not going to spend too much time in there just now, but I would like you to follow me this way as we go up into the main living spaces of this villa. Now, a couple of things become immediately apparent as you step up here. Worst being this incredible amount of space and light that I've got. I referenced it once already earlier. Take a look at it once again. These enormous ceilings are spectacular. The fact that the windows stretch all the way from ceiling to floor allows light to flood into all of these spaces, down here and down there we'll get to in a moment. The jaw-dropping views that were apparent in the introduction to this movie are all around us still. I've never seen a view as good as this from a private home. I can assure you of that. Spectacular does not begin to cover it. But let me draw your attention back inside quickly if I can. We've got great spaces here, the more formal dining area of the house down here, beautiful, comfortable seating area, all pointing towards this enormous television on this marble backdrop, which I think looks really smart. And then follow me this way into this extraordinary kitchen, which I absolutely love. The main central feature, the central island, beautifully combines more formal seating down here for 10 people with bar style seating right here. I've got this wonderful marble unit which has the Gaganau induction hob and the basin. There's another one of those at the rear of the kitchen, as you can see. And over here, I've got plenty of storage, display cabinets, wine coolers, another TV. Same again over here. And then this is that little doorway again that takes me back through to the hallway that I started off at the beginning with. This really is the central hub of the home where I imagine you'll be spending the vast majority of the time entertaining your friends, hanging out with your family. I've got the absolute picture-perfect view of the sea. I'm looking over the kids swimming in the pool. And on occasions, this could be the place where you are wined and dined and treated 
in that very special meal. It just so happened, I was very lucky enough to experience that myself just earlier today. I'll leave you with a few shots of that so you see how it works in practice. How good did that look? Now, whilst we're here, I wanna show you another bedroom that we have down here, just off the kitchen. This is the second biggest bedroom in the house, actually. I think a great guest room, king size bed right here, television on the wall. Again, double height ceilings in here, really make it a volume of space and a little private garden behind you. If I step this way, join me in my ensuite bathroom. Rainfall shower, double basin, the loo is just tucked away down there. It all feels very opulent indeed. Come back into the main living space with me. Okay, so that's the main guest bedroom on this floor, but come with me upstairs and we'll see the three main bedrooms. And we will go straight into the master suite, which if you follow me, is down here and then on to the right. Now, like all the best parts of this house, it is all centered around this spectacular view. Imagine waking up this bed every morning and that right there is the first thing that you see. That is perfection. If it's not looking quite as stunning as this today, you've got the huge plasma TV on the wall right in front of you, the gas fireplace feature there as well, and just an incredible amount of space once again. Okay, now follow me this way, because I think this is really cool. The snappy dresses amongst you with a wardrobe bursting at the seams will surely find plenty of space for everything that you have in here. Palatial closet space. This is room everywhere for your shirts, your dresses, drawers, which are all snug closers. As you can see, huge mirror on either side, beautifully lit in here as well. What a fantastic dressing room. Keep coming around. What else do we find? We have a guest loo in here, a lot more storage space to my left, double basin cut into these beautiful marble units. And in the bathroom area itself, double rainfall shower, freestanding bath, Again, once more, the perfect spot to take in that incredible view. We've got two more gorgeous guest bedrooms on this floor, which I will leave you with a few shots of right now. Join me in just a moment as I go back downstairs. utterly gorgeous as everything is inside it is when you come outdoors at Villa Solstice that you really feel how special a place it is. We saw a bit of it earlier but I want to have a special mention now for this one of my favorite spots in the whole villa. I'm sat at the end of the swimming pool that view is perfectly framed by the pergola over this end of the pool this I think might be the perfect spot to watch that sunset which we are probably just a couple of hours away for. We're going to show it hang around make sure you see it let me walk a little bit further on down this way along our main terrace. What a space here, the 17 meter swimming pool right here. That's heated by the way, so perfect for those cooler months. Some beds for my friends and my family, luxurious seating right here. And as we go further on, I love this so much. You get the main entertainment space. Imagine throwing a little soiree here for your friends. This sunken seating area here, which is fantastic. The centerpiece of which is this beautiful gas fire feature. We might get that working later, I'm not entirely sure, but surrounding this area here, these, believe it or not, are speakers. You wouldn't know to look at it, would you? But they are, and believe me when I tell you, they pack a punch. Outdoor kitchen just here. This is incredible because not only will your chef have the best view in Ibiza while cooking that meal, the click of a button, this piece of marble slides backwards, revealing fantastic a gag an hour grill underneath, as it does here a little bit actually. I don't know whether you can see that, but this bit of granite moves back and forth to hide my sink. Argentinian barbecue here. I get my coals and wood in there, get that all fired up. Looks incredible at night time. I have my steaks on here cooking on the steel. Another 
bit of marble, this time fashioned into a beautiful dining table for me and 12 of my friends. And we go this way. Once again, draw dropping views. I've said it once, I'll say it again. They do not get any better. We're getting closer to that sunset. It's almost with us. But before it is, and let's go down the stairs and see what we have down here. Well, behind this door is the staff accommodation that I mentioned at the beginning of the film. We won't take a look in there, but I will draw your attention briefly to bedroom number six. Really lovely space, big volumes again, similar features to what we saw in the bedrooms inside. This one being separate from the villa, of course, offers your guests that little bit more privacy should they need it. And all the while, they are also enjoying, again, the amazing view, which it gets pride of place right there. So as I get a little bit closer, yep, we're right on the cliff face. That is pretty dramatic. Where does it all lead to? Well, we come through to this really pretty green lawn garden area. An opportunity for me to look back at the house, a great view of it. I see it all right here, can appreciate the architectural design of it. So you are, you are spoiled for choice in terms of where you're gonna take in that sunset, but this might be the best of the lot. Imagine sat there, glass of champagne on the go, bubbles all going, front row seats for the sunset that is gonna be dropping into the sea just there in a moment. For your more active moments, look at this. How's this for a gym? Techno gym equipment throughout. This roof, this ceiling, by the way, fully retracts. There will not be a gym on the island with a better view than this. This might even get me working out in a gym like this. Back into this lawn space. I'll take one more chance to have a look at the house, which is behind me there, looking absolutely brilliant. And it leaves me with what I think is actually the most special feature of the entire villa. I mentioned it earlier, we've got direct private access to the sea. So many villas want it, so many villas claim it, not many villas can really deliver on it. Villa Solstice does that in spades. We've got our own private gate right there. It takes me on a short hop down some rocks, a platform and a step, and it is perfect place for me to jump in the water and cool off at the end of another hot day and what's been another fantastic Charles Marlowe video tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've been blown away by Villa Solstice. It's one of a kind, that's for sure. It can be yours, it's for sale, and we'd love to tell you a little bit more about it. So please get in touch. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye for now.